here in the i button and in description box below you will get complete playlist of fourier transform welcome to video number 1 and in this video we are going to see what is the definition for fourier transform and we will see what is the inverse fourier transform okay so before i start this video i would request you to subscribe to my channel and if you learn something from my videos then please hit the like button and do share the playlist of fourier transform with your friends in this way only you can support me and i really need your support so let us start with the topic that is fourier transform let's say you have a function that is f of x okay you need to find the fourier transform form for the function f of x so the function f s okay here f is capital okay this f s is defined okay the function f s okay which is fourier transform of f of x is defined by f of s okay is equals to integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of x into e to the power i s x dx okay yes let's say you have a function f of x okay and you need to find the fourier transform for this function f of x so fourier transform for f of x is f of s okay yes here in the function f of x f is small but in the function f of s here f is capital okay if f of s okay yes if if somebody is written that is f of s it means the it is the fourier transform of some function f of x okay so the fourier transform is defined by f of s equals to integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of x into e to the power i s x dx okay which is called the fourier transform for the function f of x okay now let us suppose you have this okay and you want this it means we need to find the inverse fourier transform okay yes this part also the function f of x defined by f of x equals to 1 upon 2 pi integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of s into e to the power minus i s x d s okay yes here we have function f of s it means the fourier transform of any function f of x okay so since we have here the function of s so we need to integrate this part with respect to s okay after this we will find what f of x which is the function f of x okay so this function okay the function f of x is defined by f of x equals to 1 upon 2 pi integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of s into e to the power minus i s x ds is called the inverse fourier transform for the function f of s okay this inverse fourier transform is also known as inversion formula okay yes if you want to find what is uh, fourier transform then there is a function f of x so we need to integrate this f of x with respect to s okay with respect to x we have the formula that is f of x into e to the power i s x okay dx we need to integrate this part then after you will get the fourier transform for any function f of x but let's say you have this part okay that is f of s so we need to multiply this with this that is e to the power i minus i s x we need to differentiate i mean integrate this part with respect to x and the limit is from minus infinity plus infinity multiply this with 1 upon 2 pi you will get the value for function f of x okay this is known as inversion formula okay so after all this we will see yes this is video number one okay this is video number one in the video number two yes we are going to solve this very important problem problem okay in the Fourier transform we are going to solve these two very 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 important problems okay so in video number two you are going to get this problem and in video number three you are going to get this second problem okay and i'm sure after solving these two problem problems you will be in a very good condition to solve such type of problems which belongs to Fourier transform okay the first problem says find the Fourier transform of f of x equals to 1 when the yes here you can see mod of x is less than 1 okay here we have mod of x okay and f of x becomes 0 when the mod of x is greater than 1 and after finding the Fourier transform for this function f of x we need to evaluate this part that is integration 0 to infinity sin x upon x dx okay and the second problem okay second problem is also very 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 important find the Fourier transform for the function f of x which is equals to 1 minus x square when mod x value is less than equals to 1 and this function f of x becomes 0 when mod of x is greater than 1 okay yes first problem if you see in the first problem we have mod of x yes if you see here we have mod of x it means the value of x may be positive or negative okay that's why if you remove this mod sign uh, it may be positive or negative so these two questions are very 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 important because in both the problem you can see we have mod of x 
we have mod of x okay so in next video that is in video number two we are going to solve this problem okay very 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 important problem thank you